In this video, I'm going to be reviewing this Blue Eddy, the AC200 Max. Before I go right into the review, I just wanted to say I've had this for two weeks. I've been testing it in the workshop here and in an off-grid situation where there's no grid power at all. And I think this machine's performed very, very well. It's a Blue Eddy AC200 Max with a 2048 watt hour battery, lithium iron phosphate battery, pure sine wave inverter, DC outlets that can charge all your devices, and it has solar input up to 900 watts, also charges off mains power, or you could charge it whilst driving a car with just your cigarette lighter top adapter. So, also for the technically minded people, you can download the Blue Eddy app and control the Blue Eddy settings and see its usage and capacity just from your phone. I think that's all pretty handy. Anyway, let's get into the review. That's pretty well packaged in there, safe for travel. To pull this, pull this out. Okay, thank you. Straight up, I'd say this is a really nice, well-finished unit. Let's just turn it on. Has a really nice display here. It tells you everything you need to know. It's got all the outlets that you could need. So over here we have the on-off switch, and down below that. We'll have a 12 volt DC 10 amp cigarette style outlet. Just below that, 12 volt DC. Now this one here is a 30 amp DC outlet. It's double prong, screw on type. Next one across is the double power point type clacker that goes in through there, 12 volt DC 10 amp. Going across the USB-C, 100 watts, that's quite a lot. Going through that little power socket there, 100 watts USB-C. And USB-A, you know, that's 18 watts times two. It's actually times four. Five volts DC, three amps per outlet. That's quite high charging. I like all these little caps that go over and make all these dust proof. Just moving over to the right, you've got four 240 volt, 10 amp outlets. Okay, so 240 volt, 2200 watts is what this machine is capable of uh, delivering all together. Let's flick him around and have a look on the end. What have we got here? We just looked at the output side of things. Let's just have a quick look at the input side of things. Again, there's these plastic covers. They're kind of the soft silicony rubber things. These two top ones, if you need to get some more power, Blue Eddy have got these extension packs where you can plug in to this main unit and double or triple your power capacity, which is pretty nifty. Let's put those away. We haven't got that, so I can't test that at this stage. Okay, so down through here, here's a solar input or where you plug the vehicle into um, or other external charging elements and go under here. You get the cable and the cable just screws onto here and away you go. And this socket here is where you plug the mains adapter into in our case 240 volts, plug it in, away you go. And the charger, being a nice little external Blue Eddy charger, that'll charge that up in a couple of hours, I guess, depending on how flat it is. Hey, look at that on top there are two wireless charging outlets. I think they're 15 watts each. I don't have a device that can actually do that, but all you need to do is just Put your phone on there and if it's an Apple or something like that, or one that does have wireless charging ability, put it on, away it goes, charges away. But the main thing is really to find out what this thing can actually do. Let's first of all have a look at the screen. Here's the on off button through here, it's already on. So you just touch the screen, it's all, it's all touch screen. Now there's two sections through here, straight up a DC section. You gotta turn the DC on or off. So all this is disabled, all your DC outlets are disabled until you actually turn them on. Now that that's on, I can charge up and use DC, whichever appliance that I need. Same too with the AC, I gotta turn that off. I can probably have them both running at the same time. And then put the inverter on, and now I've got power to the AC side of the unit. Let's just see if we can turn both of them on. And you can. And you can see that these little dotted lines, 
a thump and a cross to their respective outlets and it tells me that um, the unit's at 100% and you've got, you've got power available DC and AC. Let's have a look at that. Battery state of charge screen there. Let's go back. Let's go to the DC outlet. Tells you it's got 13.5 volts. Nothing's being used at the moment, so let's plug something in. I've got this DC light. It's got a halogen globe in it. I'm going to plug that into the cigarette lighter through there. All right, that guy there. I'm going to plug in a fan via an extension cord. Let's just try this one. I'm going to put my phone on charge via USB. That one there. Let's have a look what we got here. Okay, so the machine's in use. Let's go to this screen here. The 98% state of charge. That's cool. And one is your main battery in this unit. Two and three are for the auxiliary battery units that you can plug into this. We haven't got those. Here we can see we're using 82 watts DC. Got my phone plugged in and I've got that light plugged in. And on the AC side there, I'm using 118 watts running that fan. There we go, AC producing 230 volts, 118 watts. That's pretty cool. On the DC side, you can see what we got there, 13.5 volts, output is 80 watts. I'm getting nothing in from solar or from the car and nothing in from the battery charger. Go through the settings. One of the things you, I think you need to do is when you're charging from your DC input sources, change it from solar panels to other, other being a car or wherever, you, wherever else you're getting your 12 volt power source to charge this thing from, like a lead acid battery. Let's go back. Date and time, etc. Well, I'm liking it so far. Let's plug in a few other things here so we can work out what's the maximum we can suck out of this baby. Let's try the Festil drop saw. No problem. But I did have the vacuum cleaner plugged into the mains power. I will note though, these plug outlets are for 10 amp. So for heavy stuff like an air compressor, they're 15 amp out plugs here or even greater, 20 amps. So it won't power that off these. This is only a 2000 watt uh, power supply. So you do have to be reasonable with it. Two grinders here. Let's do grinders. Let's get on to the important stuff. Here's a sandwich toaster and see what it does. Okay, so it's already drawing power out. 963, 64, 65 watts. Turn on the uh, 550 watt induction motor here for my extractor. Two thousand watt heat gun. Put it on low setting to start with. Well that's remarkable, the sandwich toaster, the heat gun and the vacuum dust extractor on using 3000 watts of power. I think I've got to adjust the screen to have the, it doesn't time out. 3000 watts of power and it didn't shut down on me. Okay, so we've got the kettle on. What we've got here is we're charging with AC power, bringing in 436 watts and we've got the kettle on and it's delivering 1954 watts. In the garage, I just happened to have another fridge and I done a test 
Test has run for 19 hours. So after running the fridge for 19 hours, the uh, blue eddy is down to 55%. Now let me just quickly go through, through my mass. 2048 watt hour capacity. And we've used up 921 watt hours over that time. So what that gives us is about 48.5 watts per hour through the 19 hours. So this blue eddy could run this fridge for approximately 42 hours. Now that's its full capacity, so you wouldn't do that. And also no sun, no solar input. So that's pretty darn good. Just going to look at the solar charging just now. I've got this one 190 watt panel and I've got the blue eddy down there. Let's charge them up. This is very difficult to do. Uh, I'm out in the sun so um, I've got the screen to full brightness but at the moment it's saying we're at 53% charge and we are getting in 64 watts of solar power. I just have to arrange that panel a bit better. Get better power in. Let's click on a few things here. So 64, we're getting 27 volts, 64 watts. So as you know, I do really like the machine. It did everything I needed to do. It's got a great output, in terms of it can really run a lot of machinery. It's got a great capacity, lots of battery. Uh, on the negative side of things, uh, it, is, it is a heavy thing. So uh, it's about 31 kilograms and that's 60, nearly 60 pounds I think it is. So it's not, not super light, but you've got to expect that. This has got uh, 2,048 watt hours of lithium capacity the batteries inside here um, so you can't have one without the other weight it means it's um, it's got some capacity there uh, another negative probably is the screen the screen in an outdoor setting is a bit hard to see it looks very dim but I would imagine that this is probably kept in, in an inside type environment and I think that's where this would excel you can take this camping and have it on an outside environment and that would be fine look all in all very impressed with the unit Keep in mind this has just been a short term review, I've used for two weeks and I've had no problems with it whatsoever. Um, I will probably keep this running through my videos, it's going to be powering a lot of things so there will probably be a long term review down the track somewhere. All in all I'm very happy with the, uh, with the unit and um, it's, going to, it's going to fill a need for my off grid situation very well. Down below I'll put the information for the Blue Eddy. Uh, where there's some affiliate links or something like that. I'm not sure at the stage of right making this video where that will be, but I'll put everything that's related to this unit down below in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one.